Alright guys, today we're talking about the NLWC event on Rofkin on November 24th in our predictions for the event. First off, we got Carter Storochi versus Chance Marsteller. Uh, Marsteller, way more experienced than Storochi. Uh, was a four-time state champion in high school, undefeated in Pennsylvania. And then he wrestled for uh, Lockport, if I'm not mistaken, where he was a two-time NCAA All-American and got fourth in 2018. Storochi, far less experienced, a retro freshman this year was at Penn State and last year wrestled unattached 18-0 and won the Southern Scuffle. But in this matchup, we got Sorochi losing to Marsteller due to the sheer amount of experience gap between these guys. Second match, we got Frank Pirelli versus Thomas Gilman. Uh, Pirelli uh, just wrestled at Senior Nationals uh, in the Freestyle Division. I think 97 kgs, if I'm not mistaken. Also was from Cornell where he was an NCAA All-American and a qualifier for two, three years, something like that. Well, Thomas Gilman, if you don't already know, wrestled at Iowa under Tom and Terry Brands. Uh, pretty good wrestler himself. Uh, was a Pan Am runner-up and a World Championships medalist in 2017. Also was an NCAA All-American twice when he was at Iowa. But in this matchup, we got Thomas Gilman. Next up, we got Brandon Wright versus Nick Lee. Brandon Wright, guy who wrestled in college and was a two-time Indiana State champion. Also placed third at the World Team Trials in 2017. Versus Nick Lee, a more younger guy who's going, just went through his junior year, I think last year, qualified for the NCAAs, got second before it got canceled, uh, but then was an All-American during his freshman and sophomore year, currently still wrestles for NLWC and at Penn State. In this matchup, we got Nick Lee. In our next match, we got Nate Jackson versus Bo Nickel. Uh, Jackson just wrestled at the Flo's eight-man bracket thing. I think he got fourth uh, versus Bo Nickel three-time NCAA champion, only lost to Miles Martin. I think both these guys actually have lost to Miles Martin. Jackson lost to him at the eight-man, and Nickel actually lost to him in his sophomore or freshman year at the NCAA finals. But these guys have also wrestled before. Uh, Nickel lost to Jackson in a duel where he lost 67. Well, Jackson lost to Nickel later in that year in the NCAA semifinals. He lost 6-3 or 5-3, something like that. But yeah, in this matchup, we got Nickel. He's been dominating in freestyle, and we got him over Jackson by somewhere between three to five points. Next up, we got Reese Humphrey versus Zane Rutherford. Uh, Reese Humphrey, a two-time All-American for Ohio State University, and also was a USA World Team member in 2013 and 2015, maybe 2014 as well, but I kind of forgot. But then on the other hand, we got the Zane Train Rutherford. Guy wrestled for Penn State and was a three-time NCAA champion. Uh, uh, also was a four-time All-American at the NCAAs and won the Hodge Trophy twice. Uh, well, also was a World Cup winner in freestyle, so definitely going with Zane Rutherford in this matchup. Next up, we got Gabe Dean versus David Taylor. Uh, Gabe Dean just wrestled at Senior Nationals where he performed pretty well. Uh, also was a two-time NCAA champion when he wrestled at Cornell. While David Taylor, also a two-time NCAA champion as well as a runner-up to Kyle Dake and in his freshman year also was a runner-up. Um, uh, moving on from that, he was also a World Cup winner and a World Championship winner in freestyle and has been wrestling really good since he came out of Penn State after being coached by Kale Sanderson. So definitely in this matchup, we got David Taylor beating Gabe Dean uh, probably by Tech or probably at least 7 to 8 points. And yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and so for more rest accounts like this. Uh, we post everything related to wrestling, including news and upcoming events. So make sure you guys are subbed to stay tuned to that. Peace.